Hey pilots, DK here. So I've been thinking, and I know this might sound a bit dramatic, but bear with me, Gen Z might be the last generation. Yeah, I said it. But before you start writing your dystopian novels, let's dive into why this might not be as crazy as it sounds. I know, I know. It sounds like the plot of a sci-fi movie, right? But let's unpack this together. We're going to look at the environment, technology, and social issues. Don't worry, I'll try to keep it light. Well, as light as a potential apocalypse can be. First up, the environment. Climate change is like that uninvited guest at a party who just won't leave. Wildfires, floods, hurricanes. Mother Nature is really bringing out her A-game. Scientists are basically yelling at us to do something before it's too late. And who's going to clean up this mess? Yep, it's us Gen Z. It's kind of funny in a tragic way, right? We're out here trying to figure out what we want to do with our lives, and meanwhile, the planet is throwing a fit. I mean, who had global catastrophe on their bingo card for adulthood? Not me, but seriously, this is our reality. We've inherited a planet that's in crisis, and it's up to us to fix it. No pressure, right? Next, let's talk tech. We're living in a time where AI and robots are becoming smarter than my smartphone, which, by the way, keeps suggesting I go for a run. Rude, right? While technology is cool and all, it's also a bit scary. Are there going to be any jobs left for us? Or are we all going to be replaced by robots that can do the Macarena better than we can? I mean, think about it. We've got self-driving cars, AI that can create art, and robots that can perform surgery. It's like we're living in a sci-fi movie. But here's the kicker. With all this advancement, there's a real fear that human jobs are going to become obsolete. It's like, hey, I spent years getting my degree, and now a robot can do my job faster and better? Great. Then there's the whole social aspect. We're more connected than ever, but somehow we feel more isolated. Social media is like that friend who's always there, but sometimes makes you feel worse about yourself. Anxiety, depression, loneliness, it's all skyrocketing. It's like we're living in a Black Mirror episode. Let's be real. Social media is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it's amazing because we can connect with people from all over the world, share ideas, and create movements. On the other hand, it's like a never-ending competition. Who has the best photos? Who's living their best life? It's exhausting. And it's no wonder mental health issues are on the rise. We're constantly comparing ourselves to these curated versions of reality. And it's taking a toll. But enough of my rambling. Let's hear from some of you. What are your biggest fears for the future? I worry about the environment. It feels like we're inheriting a planet that's falling apart. Technology is amazing, but I'm scared about job security. What if there's no place for us in the workforce? Social media is a blessing and a curse. It's hard to feel truly connected when everything feels so superficial. These are real concerns, and we can't just sweep them under the rug, but it's not all doom and gloom. Gen Z is also the generation of change makers, activists, and innovators. We're more aware and more vocal than any generation before us. And hey, if anyone's going to save the world, it's us, right? We're fighting for climate action, pushing for ethical tech, and advocating for mental health. We have the power to shape our destiny, but it's going to take everything we've got. So grab your capes, because we're basically superheroes. Let's talk more about this. Climate change is a massive issue, but we're not powerless. Look at all the young activists out there. Greta Thunberg, for example, started a global movement by sitting outside her parliament with a sign. That's the power of one voice, amplified by millions. We're organizing strikes, demanding policy changes, and holding leaders accountable. It's a tough battle, but we're in it together. On the tech front, we're the ones who grew up with this stuff. We understand it better than anyone. 
that means we also have a unique responsibility to steer it in the right direction. Ethical tech isn't just a buzzword. It's crucial for our future. We need to push for transparency, privacy, and accountability. We're the generation that can demand and create technology that serves humanity, not the other way around. And let's not forget about mental health. It's time to break the stigma and have open, honest conversations. Therapy, meditation, self-care, these aren't just trends, they're lifelines. We're making it okay to talk about our struggles, and that's a huge step forward. Remember, it's okay to not be okay. Reach out, connect, and support each other. So are we the last generation? Maybe not literally, but we're definitely at a turning point. The actions we take now will define the future for generations to come. It's up to us, Gen Z. Let's rise to the challenge and prove that we are not the last generation, but the generation that saved the world. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video thought-provoking, or if you just enjoyed my rambling, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's keep this conversation going. Stay informed, stay active, and let's make a difference together. See you in the next video, and hey, don't forget to tell your friends. We could use all the help we can get.